a little too quiet. All right, so let's do a bit of an overview here first. Palace of Balls. That's right. That's the name of the. <laughs> that's the name of the place. And uh, that's. That's, uh, yeah, that's our civilization. We are the Palace of Balls, right? <laughs> um, okay, so, yeah, a bit of an overview. So, we have, uh, we're in sort of a, I don't know, remember the different biomes we had. We've got a mountain here, as we can see. Uh, there's also a river that's, uh, there's a river running through here. It takes a nice angle here. Hey, Mr. Jelly Raptor. Um... We have carved into the mountain. I'm trying to keep this a, uh, a, a one-level fort. So it makes it just a little bit easier for newbies not having to deal with Z levels. I should point out that uh, just because I build my fort this way does not necessarily mean this is the way to build a fort. Um, Dwarf Fortress is, is, I mean, clearly it's, it's a sandbox game. So there is no right way to do things. Um, I'm... I'm I'm not very creative when it comes to my fort designs, but you can make some pretty crazy things. You can make like, like towers, you can make um, like pyramids, you can make an, some sort of like an outdoor village kind of things. You can make a pirate ship. That's one thing I've done. Um, um, but so, right, I'm just trying to keep everything on one level to try to make it look uh, easier to follow. You can see the bedrooms, you can see kind of everything all going on at the same time. Um, a question I got was about the, the doors and the defenses. I do have just like a double door system here in the front. This is like the way in. So it's not really the most defensive way because we've got like a, we've got a stockpile here. We have our trade depot outside. We have some farms. We have our butcher and everything outside. We uh, we will eventually hopefully today we will build ourselves a wall outside which we can put in a, uh, a drawbridge. So I'll show off a drawbridge outdoors and uh, that'll give us a little more defense. So that's the plan there. We do have our traders here. I think we already did our trading though. In fact I know we did. We bought... What did we buy from them? I think we, did we... We did buy a few weapons, I think, from them. So we can arm ourselves. Um, so yeah, so we walk into the door... Into the fort here. We have this big open area, which will, I think, become a barracks. At one point. We'll have some training going on in this, uh, in this opening area. So if something does come into our fort, we will have folks standing around, you know, barracksing. Uh, over to the left, we have our bedrooms area. All of our... We have a big dormitory right here, and we have all of our rooms. This way, we're slowly working on them. We don't have doors yet. Um, and then we have some workshops in here. We have our mason. You can kind of see down here in the corner what it what it is. We have mason, carpenter, leather, and craft dwarf shop. Um, and so once things get made, they get tossed into our storage, which is right in here. Hey, Frank. Um, I got stuck right here. Oh, that's right. We killed the <laughs> the dead elf. We killed elf on the on the last uh, last time. Um, and uh, down here we have the uh, the offices for the administration. This is folks uh, like um, Preclues, Marius, and Merlin, I think, are the three that are down here. Bob is our chief medical dwarf. We have to make a doctor's office today. But uh, that's for the administrators. That's their offices down there and their bedrooms, and they have a chest in there as well. We'll get them cabinets eventually. Um, I was going to build in um, an inn here as well. Host group fortress, please. What does that mean? I'm not sure what that means. Uh, but this is this is our tavern, and uh, we have four fancy tables in here for our tavern. We can see we actually are carrying around mugs. Cog and Frank both carrying mugs here uh, into the stockpile. There, you can see the chest is filled with mugs. Uh, so that's our tavern, and if folks come and stay, they can stay in their bedrooms down here, along with all of the food and drink, which is right here next to our still and our kitchen. Uh, and we have our farm going on up here. And over here we've got chickens and a worm, right? Yes, a worm is right here. So today, the plan is I mentioned I want to get that wall going. Um, we also need to make sure our military has proper weapons. We need to get a doctor's office certainly going, and and getting the process of getting soap going is kind of a tedious one, so we can do that. Um, yeah, we'll see what else goes. Hopefully, by the end of the day, we'll get attacked by something. I would think that's like five hours of gameplay. Surely something will come in here and do attack us. Yeah, I just started, Frank. So let's begin. Um, okay. So yeah, we just killed this elf here. We're calling, we're, I guess we just hauled it away. Yeah, there you go. So we just hauled the elf into the corpse stockpile. Where it belongs. We built these uh, rooms over here, but we not put doors in. So we should do that. So let's build, door, and throw it over here. Uh, here. 
We can, uh, we're gonna do the same thing where we planning mode and pop it in there. And I'm pretty sure we have a workflow for doors. We'll check that out. So once doors get made, we can throw them into there. Um, let me make sure here. Doors. Yes, we are working on doors. And it is on, there's a repeat, so it's, um, a repeat, so it's getting made over and over again. So as soon as we get some doors, we'll move them into here. Why is there a bedroom without any uh, beds or anything? Oops. Let's do that. Finish off these bedrooms. And then we're going to make sure we make these things into bedrooms. Put a bed there. We're going to put in a chest there. Uh, sure, a bag. Sure. And then a cabinet, which is going to go right here. There we go. Oh, my offices don't have doors either, do they? Good call, MP. <laughs> That's kind of important, isn't it? Door, door. I wonder if these were set in planning mode last time and they disappeared whenever I reloaded. Is that what happened? Why isn't? Hmm. Is there one there? Okay, there's one there already. Uh, we need doors down here as well. Uh, let me make sure I get these doors done first, and then we'll start adding in the ones down this way. Now we have a goblin pikeman visiting us. Cost? Eman, if Emanfamo. Where is he? A goblin. I don't see him. There he is. There he is. He's coming to visit. He's gonna go and grab a grab a drink. And he's just gonna stand here and uh, socialize. Apparently, he's a warrior. Ugh. So I can see where is he? There he goes. You can see him coming and grabbing doors and then putting them back in. Who is this? This is Schultzstaffel. Goblin, kill it. No, goblins are our friends. <laughs> human or elves, not human. <laughs> elves, we kill elves, not humans. I learned Dwarf Fortress from wa watching Quill 18 initially, and then that's how I that's how I learned about the game, and then I watched Daz Tactics tutorial, and that's how I really learned it. And then just playing, just basically just playing the game is what is how you learn the game. He has a bag in his room, which is kind of strange. Okay, so um, doors are going to go. Let's work on a doctor's office. Where should we put our doctor's office? Maybe down, maybe right in here? Sure. So let's dig that out. So we're going to dig out a big room here. We're going to give our, our doctor his own room back here. He can have his own room, and he can also have an office back here as well. Something like that. Something like that. This isn't going to be even, is it? Put a door there and a door there. Um, and we'll carve this out. We'll put it in some bedroom and we'll have some uh, doctor's offices in it. And then, um, something else we should probably do this time is we should probably look at digging down. Um... If you want to find any sort of metals or anything anything good, you've got to dig down. So we'll have to do that, certainly. There's always a couple cave systems, at least. Well, there's always three cave systems down below. And uh, always terrible things down there we can find. But we can also find metals and maybe get some metal working going. That would be good. Um, we've got... Is there a door there? Let me build a door here. Right there. There we go. My forts are pretty. My forts are ugly. <laughs> Chickens get in fights? I don't think I've ever had a chicken get into a fight. I don't think so. They don't need any room. They, you know, actually, what you could do with your chickens, and you can just lock them into the one square, um, and then they will... Uh, that one's un Why are they all unclaimed? Hmm, I'm not sure, actually. Why are they all unclaimed? I'm not sure. Keep an eye on that. And maybe I need to lock them into one spot. I don't know. Um, 
Okay, should we work on it? Okay, so our uh, our doctor's office is done. We will uh, work on that. So let's put in a couple doors, more doors, more doors. Um, build a bed. I guess we can put his bedroom over here. Bed can go there. We're gonna have a chest. We don't have any chests apparently. We do have a cabinet though? Cabinet will go there. Let's make some. Make sure we're making chests. Doors are being made. We'll make some wooden chests. So we're gonna add a chest, which is H. Boop. Wood, and we don't want five to ten. We want one to two. Ach, make more room. Here comes migrants. All right, we have migrants. What is it? It is uh, the eighth month, which is summer. All right. Good, we haven't, op haven't been able to open up the door for the therapist yet. Excellent. Is Bob still- I think everyone- yeah, no one has died yet. This has been the most peaceful fort I have ever had. Yes, Bob is still alive. Bob, we just built him a, um, a, uh, medical bay. Well, sort of. We carved out a medical bay. Migrants are coming, and, uh, let's see how many we got. We let them sort of, uh, join in the map, then we can pull up door therapist and we can see how many, uh, we have. Utilities and the merchants are now leaving, which is fine. Bob is our amazing medical dwarf who has no skills in medicine at all, but he took the job anyways, like a hero. What is this? Why is there? Oh, wait. Oh, pet of. Okay, so one of our migrants showed up, and he brought with him a baby chicken, Fikut, which is why there's a chicken in my dining room right now. Uh, we can check all that in a moment. So let's see what we got. So we're going to sort it by migration wave. And we can put them... We got, what, two? We got two migrants? Two? <laughs> uh, all right. Tun is a very good brewer. I mean, that's a good thing, I guess. And Ezum, who uh, has a pet chicken, is uh, only skilled at dying. <laughs> dying with a Y. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. So, uh, if anyone wants these names, let me know. I'll, I'll name the two dwarves, the two new dwarves. I think we only got two dwarves in that whole time. That's terrible. Alright, so for a medical bay. Actually, let me show you this. This is an easy way of seeing what a medical bay is. You hit I, which shows up a, a zone. And you can you build your zone first. And then you make it into a hospital, H. And you can hit Shift H, and it'll tell you what it wants in there. So we've got, uh, we need soap, we need buckets, we need powder for cast, which is something we need to dig down for. Uh, crutches, splints, cloth, and thread. We have none of this stuff. Uh, it also wants beds, tables, traction benches, and boxes. Boxes would be like a chest. Um, so that's a easy way of telling you what you need in your medical bay and whether you have it or not. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. So it wants some tables. So we're going to put in, we also need beds. So we'll put a table there and a table there. And we'll put in a bed. We're going to shift P this bed. There, there, and there. You want a Sean? I'll give you the one that actually does things. Sean. It's A-U. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, Ty, you want one? Oh, you just want to be a urist. All right, I can do that. How about that? Sean, and Urist, who does nothing. Our goblin is still here visiting us, isn't he? Oh, speaking of goblin, let's make him a bed. So let's work on our bedroom here. We also need to make sure we turn our bedrooms into bedrooms. I mentioned that before, and I didn't do it. There we go. Oh, did all? Oh, sorry, Adolfo. I didn't. I missed your message. All right, so let's make these into bedrooms. So what you're gonna do is take hit Q, go onto your bed, hit R, and it will turn it into uh, a bedroom. We can. I'll show you this again. Hit Q, uh, hover, hover over it, hit R, make bedroom. You can select your different size if you want a bigger, different size bedroom. We have a door there, so it, it uh, 
separates it. You can enter, and uh, it is already marked off. It's not a barracks, not a dormitory. I already showed you this over here. You can turn it into a dormitory. If you want to assign the bed, you can hit A and assign it. Um, current owner is nobody at the moment, but there's not really a, a need for that. So we just do that on every one of them. Highlight over it, R, enter. You can see over here we have this as... This one is a dormitory. Why? Whenever we build a barracks, we will set up a barracks one. Um, if we wanted to like assign a specific room for a specific dwarf, we could do that. But um, you want to be all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll make Uber's the next one. You are a dwarf. Did I spell that right? Adolfo. Okay, there you are. All right, your name was only temporarily changed. And there's no, yeah, there's no Jimmy, uh, no Jimmy Dwarf yet. Ooh, very fancy. All right, we have beds here. Now, one thing we need to get traction benches, we have to build a mechanics shop. Um, and we can do that. Well, we could, I think maybe we should just uh, make this like all of our workshops over here. So let's dig this out and make it, uh, uh, craft shop row. How about that? Yes, they will automatically go into the rooms. And you can see, they probably have already claimed a few of them. We can actually cover over it. And nobody's claimed anything yet. But we'll see in a moment. Uh, I don't think night's come yet, but we'll see in a moment. They will be, they'll start staking their claim in their, in their rooms. Hey, Lucas Aurelius. Okay, so while we're digging that out, let's go ahead and dig down. Where should we put our staircase? Let's put it someplace a little more uh, defensive. We could put it over here. Let's do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it, we're going to dig this out just a bit more. And we're going to set up a staircase right here. Um, I'm going to put this in. I'm going to put a door here. So that way if we do dig down into the caves and we come across something terrible, we can have a door that we can lock that, that may or may not stop things. Uh, does it take DF hack to assign him? I don't know. I don't know, actually. I think I thought they did it automatically anyway, so it might be a DF hack thing. So this has been... Alright, so let's work on build W. We're going to work on a mechanics shop. Which is T, which is going to go in. We're going to do the same thing before. We had to leave a space, put a mechanics workshop in there, out of Gavro. And we're going to make that into our... Uh, that's where we make our traction benches. We also make... Uh, mechanisms with that to where we need those for things like levers which will be attached to our drawbridge we'll need things like uh, cage traps that we uh, that we we want to create we need that for that oh, okay hey all right yeah our, our subscriber battle our, the f finale of 2016 subscriber battle winner <laughs> all right so we're gonna go dig and we're gonna dig a downstair right here and we're going to dig down away. So then we're going to hit D and then I. We're going to do an up down stair. We're going to cursor over our top left corner of the square. We're going to shift or uh, that's uh, less than. That's less than sign. That's right. <laughs> the shift period. Go down a level. Enter again. And down here. And then we can shift down some more to dig a staircase. So what they're going to do is they're going to they're gonna dig a downstairs here, and then we're going to come down and build a bunch of up downstairs from there. Um, I hope that was clear. We're also going to build a door, and we're going to set the door in right here, just to be a bit of security for that. Because sometimes you can dig down the, the the first level, and you can find yourself like a I don't know something terrible down there, orcs or whatever, trolls. No orcs, but trolls will be down there. And you can see they are now building. We've got a downstairs. We can go down a level, and we're at. They're digging it all out. This is all still Gabbro. And we're going to do that, but we're going to do it in a long ways. DI. And go down to the level, I don't know, go down a long ways. Yes, it is. All 
All right, Mechanics Workshop. You could even if you run into a lot more things than trolls. Um, we're going to make some... We want traction benches, which takes a table uh, to make a traction bench. So we're going to do that. Shift R. Uh, we're going to do a few of those. We'll do like three of those. And then we're going to make a lot of mechanisms. Shift T. We're going to make that into a workflow. It's always nice to have mechanisms around, so we will do that. Out of uh, any materials. Fine. And Shift R. We want um, like two to four mechanisms at all times. You find candy if you dig down far enough. Dwarven candy. Ooh, we just found some gems. You heard, did you hear the little thingy? Red spinal. You can actually hit A and it tells you everything that you're finding. And it needs mechanisms. Oh, yeah, I got mechanisms first. Right. Uh, we have found red spinal. Also struck cherry opal, which we can build our journey, uh, journey, our, um, Jewelry guy to make gems. And uh, what is this? Billberry seeds. So let's keep an eye on this. Koi bush. Why run? Let's work on plump helmets. How's our stock doing? I have no meat, no fish. We have 32 plants, 53 seeds. We're doing okay, I guess. Our current wealth is pretty terrible. We have like no weapons really. We have lots of plump helmets. We're not cooking them. Um, we have some plump helmet seeds. Excellent. We have quite a bit of beer, booze, and no meat. Um, I set a fisherman up. Oh, you know what I didn't do? You know what? I never did. I never did. Uh, I never built a fishery. That's important. So uh, let's go to our workshop. We're going to build H, a fishery. Now we can throw it out here next to the, uh, the stream. If we get attacked or something... They're gonna, probably going to come and destroy our fishing shop, may kill some of our fishermen. That's fine. It's okay. Some dwar you know, A few dwarves may die. It's okay. So we'll throw that in there. So then a few of our dwarves will start fishing. And now we'll actually get some fish. Which is uh, yeah, something we should have, should have done a long time ago. What did we just find? We found cherry opal. If you want, you can uh, also hit Z to zoom to it. Wink. And uh, there's, there they are. Finding the cherry opal. Is this still Gabriel? It's Diorite. Diorite is, um... I'm not sure. Oh, we found a cavern. There we go. That was quick. Uh, okay, so uh, there's there's typically three levels of caverns. And uh, the first one is usually a little more tame. Usually the further down you go, the more the, the less tame you get. Uh, I'm going to cancel our digging instructions here. Because that goes into there. So let's hit D, and then we're going to hit X to cancel it. And we're gonna cancel all this, and then we'll re we'll redo some of it. Okay. It won't work. So we can dig. Do we want to dig out here? Yeah, of course we do. It's gonna go down. Oh, we, we so we opened up to this spot right here. This is an up downstairs, so it's leading down into an open space. Um, probably the easiest way of dealing with this would be let's dig. Up downstairs, right here, and then go down a level. Put one there. Oops. Well, that's a long ways down, isn't it? Okay, so we'll go down to the, the bottom level with our up downstairs. There we go. So we'll dig our stair. It'll go down to here, to this kind of flat level. And we can see in this cavern, we've got uh, these are tower cap trunks. These are like giant mushroom trees, essentially. They're trees, but they're like mushroom things. Uh, we've got a bunch of different trees. Fungi wood trunk. We have dimple cups that are down here. Uh, if we need more seeds, we can find them down here. We have excellently, uh, very, very good, we have water. Um, and then, so that means that if we wanted to, like, stay completely safe, we could, like, completely lock ourselves underground now, because we have water, uh, which you need, if you need in your doctor's office. We haven't really got too far yet. yet. No one's not attacked yet. But so now we have an underground source of water. Um, we have... These is, uh, this is spider silk. Spider silk webs. So there's a giant cave spider silk web. So that means there's a giant cave spider somewhere around here. And, uh, yeah, there's probably some cave crocodiles around as well. I'm sure there's some things. We can hit you and see if we see anything. There is just our things. Wait, there's yak. There's wild yak things? Oh, interesting. Nothing downstairs, though. We have our three visitors. We have our, our goblin and our two humans that are visiting us. Uh, but everything else is just sitting in the uh, 
outside a bunch of yaks for some reason. Hey, Jeffrey Williams. Okay. So, since I set those up backwards, I need to reset up my um, traction benches. There we go. Because they were trying to build traction benches first. Um, let's see, someone is in here. There we go, so this bed, we can now see who's in the bed. Zack and Gorecake are in here. Is, uh, Frank? Is that Frank? Who is this? Yeah, that's Frank. Frank must be the child of them. Um, relationships. Yeah. Uh, Zack and Gorecake are is his mother and father. So I guess he, like, sleeps on the ground? We could give him, can we, if we give him a bed, will he take it? I've never tried that before. Let's put a bed in there and see if, uh, it'll, old Zack will take it. Yes, you can milk the Zack. Uh, milk the Zacks. You can milk the Yaks. Let's put in. So they're uh, they're making the mechanism. You can see the uh, these gears. These are mechanisms, which we'll use in just a moment. And we are digging um, to go to jump there real quick. Since I haven't set up a hotkey, we can just hit Z on one of these. Now we are over here. That is... Where's our stuff? There it is. Okay, so let's set up a hotkey here. I'm set up. We're going to go to Shift H. Uh, F2 will be our zoom down here. And we're going to hit Z. So now, when we... F1 goes up here. F2 goes in there. <laughs> yeah, you can make... Uh, yeah, you can... Milk it and then turn it in. Okay, turn it into cheese. All right, fishery. Are you done? Yes, the fishery is done. So we need to tell you to catch fish all the time. And uh, you can process them too. Sure. So someone will come over here and get the fishing job and we'll go and uh, do some fishing things. Probably you, right? Yeah, there we go. Gore cake. Good job, Gore cake. Father of Frank. I'm gonna fish there. Did I set that up as a fishing spot? I did, didn't I? I don't want this to be a fishing spot. I want this to be the fishing spot. This is just like a little pond. There probably isn't anything in it. It's just a murky pool of stagnant water. Not really any good. This will have fish. Things like carps. We love carps. It'll go um, swimming through there. So now, does Frank take this bed then? I make this into a bedroom as well. I'm curious if he will take it or if someone else will just go in there and take it. I think someone else is just <laughs> who is this? Nope, Joel Stoffel is just gonna run in there and take it. Okay, <laughs> let's let's modify that. Uh, I'm gonna assign this to Frank. There we go. Frank, you get your own bed, buddy. Kick that guy out. He's not not your bed. Um, okay, so um, to the doctor's office, the hospital. We can see we now have three beds, two tables, zero traction benches, zero boxes. We need a uh, chest, and we need a traction bench. That's the These are the most uh, most important, top the top stuff. Let's get those done. Uh, so traction bench, we're going to build Shift-R and put it in... I don't, traction bench, I think it's supposed to be next to the bed. Let's just like set one here. And we're going to set one here. Okay, and then we're going to need to build some chests. Do I have any chests? Let's throw those over in this corner. Yes, I do. Put one there. And we'll put one there. And the uh, the chest will hold things like soap. Now, something that um, typically I do, um, whenever I fart, start, when I start finding these caverns, is when I start getting a, a proper military, I'll set up a squad down here. We'll do that later, as soon as we get a military that has weapons. Um, I'll set some folks up to like be stationed down here, so in case something does come by, whenever folks are coming down here and trying to like grab mushrooms or silk, then uh, they will be able to defend them. Giant cave swallow. So we do have something down here. There it is. Just a big bird. Um, speaking of military, actually, actually, let me check our new guys. We have Adolfo and Sean. Do you have any military skill? Uh, Sean can swim. That doesn't quite count. Gorecake. 
you are who's my military right now gore cake is already yeah he's already in there um nobody has any skills right no we still just have the three people in the military and we need a bigger migrant wave i can't believe we got two migrants I know that, but I wanted to make sure Frank would stay in the room with his parents. Everyone else is, has claimed their room here. Like, Cog has a room, and nobody has that one yet. But, uh, well, some of them have been claimed. Bob's in this one here. Zero KX. Sean Bean's down there. Uh, speaking of Bob, however, though, Bob needs to be down here. Let's make this Bob's bedroom. Sign that one to Bob. There we go. Bob, you can have a chest. Do we have any chests laying around? We do. There you go, buddy. Have a chest. Uh, this is going to be Bob's office. So let's build him a chair. Be right there. And we're going to build him a table. Right in front. There we go. Now Bob has an office. <laughs> well, some children can be raised well. Frank, on the other hand, I don't know about that. Um, so every time you get migrants in, they bring pets and other animals with them. So we're going to check and see what we've got. This is kind of our pasture area. Is that what we're doing up here? Yeah, this is our pasture area. We have our horses and things up here. This is very dangerous. Like, it's not a good idea to have your horses just laying out here. What we could do now that we have discovered that lower cavern is now that we have that, we now have uh, things that foraging animals can eat in the cavern, like the mushrooms and things. So we could actually move our foraging animals downstairs into the cavern if we wanted to. We can either leave them up here or put them down there. They have to be somewhere that has some sort of... Uh, something to eat. Uh, another thing that happens when you pierce the cavern is, because you can see it has like this dense floor fungus, this cave moss and fungus and stuff will start to creep up into your fort. You'll see it start popping up like, oh, here's some sparse cave moss is now starting to pop up in my fort. So just by piercing that, um, that cave, the moss and whatever else will start popping up in your fort. So you can actually make uh, that sort of a, um, a pasture area inside once you just just by piercing that area so anyways back to the point uh, we're gonna go to pen and pasture and check and make sure that everything that's that nobody brought anything that needed to be pastured uh, we can hit shift G and uh, yeah some, so somebody brought a water buffalo so we can we can put him in here now if you don't pasture them they'll probably starve to death I missed that what was that Cave moss won't lower quality, meaning they have to eat more cave moss compared to grass. I don't know, actually. It's possible. They don't die, though. I mean, if they're... If they're in there. If they have cave moss... I've never had them starve because of lack of cave moss. Maybe they need more space from it? I'm not sure. This is 4303. This is the newest version with the starter pack. Um, okay, so you know what we should do? Who's this? Oh, there's my water buffalo. Someone hasn't grabbed him yet. What is going on over here? I guess those are walnut leaves, the red stuff. <laughs> it's fall, so I guess it looks like blood. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's from the tree. It looks like the tree is bleeding. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to build our wall. So um, build and then shift C. Where is it here? Shift C. Somewhere in here is Shift C. I don't see it though. There it is. Walls, floors, stairs, and track. So they use this. This menu would be for building walls, also for building stairs outside. We've been building uh, stairs into the rock, but if we build it outside, we have to we have to build it with this menu. Uh, we want wall. Now there's a couple different ways of doing this. We can hit these are the, with DF hack. You can hit B for box select, which makes it really easy. You can do something like this, rather than having to do the U M J H K H thing like you do with like planting things. Uh, so what we're gonna do? We are down here. We have like this ledge here. We need to build a wall, some sort of outdoor wall thing. Outdoor wall thing. Um, so let's put it like. How do we want to do this? Let's start over here. We're going to have to remove that ramp. So 
something like that for now. We want to make this thing out of... We have lots and lots of Gabros. So we're going to use Gabro for this. Now, it is better to use Gabro... Uh, use blocks. But uh, we don't have enough blocks, so we're not going to. Gabro. Just hitting uh, W, enter, and then enter again. Enter. And then, um, I don't think I mentioned this. If you, so, because there is, like, 20 squares here, you normally have to enter for every single one. If you hit shift enter, it'll do all of them, that material. And, uh, okay, so that's good for now. We do need to remove these ramps that we have. Because someone could, someone could just walk up here. I mean, this isn't the most safe spot. We have to, we have to do a lot more wall making than this. Uh, but we're going to D and then hit D and then Z. To remove the stairs, we're going to remove all these ramps. All these ramps up to the next level, which will make us a little bit safer. But not much. There we go. So we'll come carve these out. We'll put our wall in. Uh, we'll eventually get in a, um, a door. And uh, we'll, there's a couple different ways that we can do this. Because right now, you, something could just walk up here and then jump down. So it's not safe, clearly. We could put in a floor, like a roof on top um, or we could build our wall up up the um, place area and into the side of this mountain winter is upon us has come. Ooh, gym windows beekeeping industry beekeeping is a pain do we have any bees I've never looked they look like, um, let's see if I find one. Oh, what are these? Oh, these are the wild, these are all the, oh, these are boars. These are something different. There's a wild boar is just out running around. Um, this, what is this? There we go, we do, we do have bees. Oh, maybe we'll try that. Bees are a pain. I think I want to go hunt these things. I think I could safely do that. Let's, um, I want to hunt them because I want to kill them to get leather. So let's add some folks into the military. Who wants to go in the military? Railbow, sure. We're going to just add lots of folks in here. Sean, Adolfo, Sean Bean. Oh, it doesn't look good. Sound good for <laughs> Sean Bean. Cog and Merlin. Okay, so they will equip themselves with something. Uh, right now we have our um, our um, equipment is sort of generic. But yeah, we're going to go get these boars. Yeah, they come, they're coming across the river. I don't have any... Um, I have something I haven't done. Okay, so let's show this. So we're going to go to Z, to our, um, our info handle... Handle tube. That's right. Handle tube is the name of our place. Uh, we're going to go in here. We're going to hit enter on animals. Now, we can train our animals to do things like um, we can teach them to hunt. We can teach them to go into war with us. Uh, just train them in general. So what we do is we come into this menu and we have, like, for instance, they're stray. It means they're basically doing nothing. They're just running around eating things. We have options. We can toggle pet training availability. They are available to be trained, so someone can come and train them. Uh, we also can choose, do we want... Um, war training or hunting training? I want war training. Well, maybe we'll do one hunter. We can hit H, so you'll be trained for hunting. The other two can be trained for war. Uh, you can't do it with all animals. As you can see, you can't train cats. You can't train hens or roosters. Um, probably can't train anything else. Nope. Um, the puppies will eventually grow up to be dogs. We can do that as well. Um, okay. So once they get trained, then we can actually have them joining our parties to go kill some things. And you can see they are actually working on the wall. There we go. Our wall is starting to get done a little bit. Let's fill in this spot here with wall. Okay, has it been long enough? You think our, uh, our dwarves can uh, do something? Now what we could do... Typically, um, it's a good idea to start building like some bows or something to help uh, some crossbows. But we didn't do that, but that's fine. We'll be alright. 
Maybe some folks will die and we get to show off burying folks. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hit S for squads. And uh, hit A. We showed this before when we killed an elf. Now we're going to kill a buff, uh, a bull. Or a boar. A boar. Uh, we can hit K to attack. We're going to hit this, this one. We're just going to hit one for now. We're not going to go after all of them. And in space, we're going to watch them come out and get them. Hopefully. They're going to run around. What just happened? Recruit punches the wild boar sow. Oh, so he's there. Punching. Good job, buddy. They're very quick. Oh, come back here. Did they leave the map? Where are they going? Is this, this is the one they're chasing. Okay. They're just chasing them all over the map. All right. Good job, guys. Oh, we got him. We... Oh. You see, he's very scared. Oh, there we go. We got him. We got him. Oh. I see what these body... Oh, they're teeth. So somebody walked up and just bashed him in the mouth. Who did it? The wrestler bites the wild boar sow in the upper... In the, in the left rear leg, tearing apart the fat and bruising the muscle. The wild boar sow stabs the wrestler in the left or up arm. Ugh. Breaks the grip. Okay. We'll have we'll have use for our uh, doctor's office. Now, he, now he's getting punched over and over and over again. And he collapses. So now we're just on top of him, just wailing away. Rabo is punching. Everyone is just punching. Uh, we could use some weapons, couldn't we? Yeah. Good job, guys. Nicely done. Excellent. Um, so now there's a, a, a dead uh, a dead boar out here, along with some vomit, and along with lots of teeth. Let's do it again. Um, let's kill from a list. There's more folks out there. Let's go get uh, D. We're going to kill a bunch of folks and uh, hopefully get some leather. And then we can make things like leather armor. Where's my leather shop? Right here. Leather works. Make me leather armor. Let's get a few of those. Animals become a stray hunting dog. You can see my dogs are being trained now. Uh, they become stray war dogs. That's what the barking was before. So now they are like sort of getting trained. Uh, I can't catch that. I need an empty f trap. Oh, right, right. Are we going to get him? What are you doing? Oh. Mm. Oh, it's that one. Get him. There you go. Nicely done. Excellent. Now we're going to do it again. Kill from a list. Now we can do multiple ones. If we hit, if we hold shift, D, E, and F. And hit enter. This might be a bad idea, because one on one is probably not a good idea at all. But we're going to hit enter and try it out. So then they will go kill all of them. All three of them. Oh, my river froze. It's all frozen ice now. As opposed to the thawed ice kind. And we can just sort of watch them run around and uh, kill some pigs. Excellent. Well done. Apparently we're in space right now as well. Breaks the grip of the bookkeepers. Bookkeepers left upper leg. Who's my bookkeeper? My bookkeeper's not doing too well. No, uh, knocked unconscious. Okay, good. Good. Bookkeeper is Merlin. Merlin's having a little rough time with his pig, but he'll be all right. We have a human poet visiting us. His name is Or Akarduli. Uh, lots of punching going on. Where is this happening? Up here. Okay. There we go. Lots of teeth are flying everywhere. Excellent. Well done, everybody. Well done. And somebody's... Uh, who is this? This is Thicut, the uh, the pet of Adolfo. Adolfo runs around. He, whether he's killing pigs or not, his chicken always goes with him. <laughs> All 
Okay, so uh, something we, we desperately need. As you can see, the uh, the cave moss is starting to grow more. You can see it, uh, especially in here, in the uh, on the, the loam floors. These little mushrooms popping up. Oh, you even have a tower cap in there. It's starting to pop up everywhere. Um, all right. So you are butchering, please. Go do your butchering thing. We'll get them. They will uh, tan the f the uh, the leather, the skin, and we'll have some proper leather armor that our folks can have. Um, let me see here. We don't have any sort of proper weapons. We can always wait for a trader to come by. Um, let me see this real quick. So you equipment. Okay, uh, whoops. Um, why does it say no uniform? I set this up last time. Hmm. Not sure why it's not uh, working like it's supposed to. Let's see. Let me see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Strange that it didn't work out right. Um, so we're going to go through here and make sure that they are actually wearing things. So we can go to him, hit E for equip, and we'll check out what he's got. Right now, he, he grabs some armor. You can see the check mark means he has grabbed armor, uh, like where he, he does not have yet. Uh, but we can go into helm, and we can choose a specific helm if we want to give him a specific cap. All we really have is caps, or we can just tell him to put on whatever we want. We did this last time. I'm not sure why it did not take. Handwear, footwear, uh, shield, and weapon. I wonder if it would be easier. I'm going to disband the squad. Create a squad. With the, with the anything equipment. Okay. Okay. This is the mechanical wads is the name of our squad now? Alright. Alright, whatever. So Gorecake is our leader, and then we're going to grab everyone else. Except for Bob, because he's our medical. Medic guy. Okay. Okay, so let's check him. E. Alright. Alright, now it actually worked. So, uh... Gorecake has grabbed armor, and he has a weapon. He has an axe, I'm assuming. Uh, everyone else, no one has anything yet because it hasn't taken any time, so they will eventually go and grab things. We'll, we'll let, let a few ticks go, and they will eventually go and grab some things. I thought we bought a few things from these traders. I wonder why no one had any weapons. That, uh, that clears it up a bit. So again, the way I did that is M, military, and you can cursor over your individual guys. It'll also tell you if they have any skills or not. You can hit E for equipment, and then mouse over them. It'll tell you who has what. So right now, Gorecake, uh, Merlin apparently has grabbed some armor and weapon. Um, who is this one? I'm not sure who you are. Mrs. <laughs> uh, you see, a few folks have grabbed weapons because there's a checkmark by it. Okay, so, um, our leather armor has been made. Um, what do we want next? We have that leather, we need to use it. We can make some leather leggings. Make a few of those. We'll make some leather gloves. And maybe some boots. And as that stuff gets made, um, our military should go and grab it. Okay, back to our doctor's office. We have been slowly working on this place. Uh, this is going to become a study of Bob. Where's Bob? There he is. And hit one to mark it as his. So Bob now has a bedroom, he has an office, and he has a med bay. 
that. Um, has. Apparently, we. Oh, we have thread and cloth, apparently. Uh, yeah, from our. We were making. We were growing some things. Uh, we have three of our five splints, three, five crutches. We have no powder for casts. It would be things like. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Powdery. Um, not granite. Uh, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll find it. I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, we have a couple buckets. We need soap. So, let's get some soap going. Now, to make soap, let's dig out a workshop kind of area. Put some doors there, and we'll mark it out like right back here. Like that. Okay, so we'll dig that out. We're gonna need we're we're gonna need um a um a wood furnace and an ashery for our soap. Let me see. Let me pull this up and then maybe you can describe this a little better. So you get lost on like a workshop thing. You can pull up the Dwarf Fortress, Dwarf Therapist, or not Dwarf, Dwarf Fortress Wiki, and it'll tell you kind of what you need. Soap is made of two components. You need lye and fat, uh, either from tallow or oil, and um, the soap maker's shop. So what we gotta do is we have we gotta take our wood. Our wood will go into the wood furnace, which we may turn into ash, and we make well we make the lye at the ashery. Does that make sense? So we can and then we butcher an animal. We render the fat for tallow. So lye and tallow, and we get. Soap at the soap maker's workshop. Start with wood, turn it into ash, then turn it into lye, and um, tallow. We can also do it this way, which I've never done this way before. Uh, press oil from seed base into screw press, so we get oil that way. Oil from things like olives also works for a tallow. So that's how we're going to make our soap. What's going on over there in chat? I've not been paying attention. Sounds like uh, angry things. <clears throat> uh, what was that? Here we go. We have something that says uh, an elk bird has shown up from downstairs. Look, there's a whole lot of them. There's a ton of elk birds downstairs. They are not anything too terrifying. We can look at them here. Hit um, view unit. A uh, large creature found grazing on mushrooms deep underground. Works on two legs and has the head of a bird with the antlers of a great elk. So he's fat, feathers are brown, skins are brown, her eyes are black. So uh, nothing really to worry about. You can kill them though and make leather things out of them. So they are uh, they are helpful to have around to kill. Uh, looks like our wall is done. Mostly. So we're going to put a wall there to close it off. Um, I'm going to put in something like that, just to make it look fancy. Like that. Okay, so we're going to put our wall in here, and then we're going to put a drawbridge right here. Um, now to get a... Uh, ooh, we caught a fish. To get a trade depot in here, you need to have at least three wide of space. Oh, don't make oh, okay. Don't make uh, make sure your chefs don't make tallow biscuits. Uh -huh. Okay, so you can hit Shift D and it will show you the trade depot access. Um, so right now we can see we have it's wide enough that they can get through here. Um, this is what the W is telling me. This W means everywhere they can get. So if you ever notice that you get um, a traders that come in, but they only bring like they don't bring wagons, they only bring horses. There's nothing. Then probably something is blocked. Um, so you can hit Shift D and check that out. But make sure you do need to leave a wide opening. The only way of doing this, they can't go through doors, but they can go through a bridge. So you have to leave some sort of bridge opening, which is what we're going to do in a moment. I 
this would be our uh, work, our um, furnace and uh, and the like area over here. So let's build a. First, we're going to build our wood furnace, which we can throw down here out of Gavro. Um, that's all we really need for there right now. And we're also going to need an ashery, which is under the workshops menu and Z uh, uh, Y for ashery. I need blocks for an ashery. That's right. Uh, so that's going to be something from our uh, our mason's workshop. We're going to tell him add new task. We're going to build blocks right there. And uh, we know we should really do this as a workflow. Blocks of any material. And uh, we want like 40 to 60 blocks of any material. Right. Elves don't bring wagons. Right. Elves don't ever bring anything useful anyways. Um, let's go ahead and gather some of these plants. There we go. What is this? Rat remains. Good job, cats. Now, probably a good idea to make, to move my pasture inside here. We'll do that in a moment. Let's build a bridge. So, bridge is going to be build with B, of course. And we're going to go to bridge with G. And the way we do this is going to be just like uh, like laying crops down. We're going to do the U-M-K-H thing. We're going to go make sure we, it needs to be three uh, wide because it has to be big enough for the wagon to get in. Uh, so just like a nice square. Uh, we can set it right here. So imagine this as you're laying it down. It's like flat. It's like a flat plank. Um, before you hit enter, though, you need to select where it's going to raise. As it is right now, it just can, it just retracts, which means it just basically just disappears whenever uh, you raise it. Uh, the point of a bridge is to be a wall that you can lay down, essentially. Um, we want it to raise towards us so that it will be up. It will turn into a wall right here on this on this last row. So we're going to hit uh, W-A-S-D. We're going to hit S for backwards, so it... Uh, sorry, X. X. <laughs> S is retracts. X is that way. Uh, so we're going to set it here. So when it, whenever it raises, it will turn this part into a wall. I'll show that off in a minute. But we're going to build it out of Gabro. And as soon as it gets done, it's going to look like that. It's going to be just like a wall that's laying down that you can walk over. Like a bridge. I think I just defined a bridge. Um, to make this place a little more safe, a snowstorm has come, eh? How did he catch a fish in the rocks? Was there like a, just like a frozen fish laying in there? Hmm. Why aren't we butchering these, uh, these animals out here? Yeah, go ahead and do that. Okay. Oh, something's fighting. Elk bird is fighting a dog. Ugberg charges the stray war dog. Stray war dog jumps away. Where's his hat? Oh, he's in here? What's he doing in here? Alright, we're gonna call the mechanical wads. <laughs> we're gonna go kill the Ugberg. There we go. Let's go get him. Yeah, get him. Oh, there's blood all over the place now. I am from Oklahoma. I don't know if you can block a river. Um, I guess, I'm sure you can. Yeah, yeah. Without the water overflowing. I don't... I don't know how that would work. I've never tried it. Um, we'll paint the walls red. Let's continue our wall here. Do something like up here and then this way. Kind of Gabbro. We have Gabbro just laying everywhere, so we're gonna use it. Oops. Another wall will be like here and then go into this. No, E is elk bird. Uh, dead elves look like, look like this. We have a dead elf. Right here.
block a river, I guess you could do it with while it is frozen. Build a wall. I'm not sure how it works. I've never tried it. I don't know. Oh, our wood furnace is done. So we're going to go hit A on it, and we're going to make some ash. We want to set that up as a workflow. Um, we're going to make bars of... Oops, that should be ash. Delete that one. I want... Add limit. Bars of ash. We want 5 to 10. That's actually pretty... Probably fine. Let's make it like a 10 to 20 bars of ash. Um, we also need to make charcoal. And we're going to do the same thing. Ten to twenty. Charcoal is what fires your oven. So whenever you do get metal, let's say we find some copper or something, we can uh, go to our metal furnace using charcoal. Uh, it will um, melt the metals and you can make metal blocks out of it. Water won't raise above the original Z level, but with water pressure, it might get out. Hmm. There's more fighting going on. Oh, it's these elk birds. These elk birds. All right. It's time to purge the elk birds. All right, mechanical wads. Let's go. Kill from a list. We're just going to go down the list killing these elk birds. So we're going to hit shift. Oh, there's more boars out there. B, C, D, E, F, uh, G. Okay, go get them. A lot of you should have weapons now. Uh, equipment? Uh, why say that? No. N basically none of you have weapons, but a, a couple of you do. We've got one down here. We're going to, we're going to be painting our floors. we got two of them in here. Uh, we've got one, just two more there. Oh, oh you know what I d didn't do? Um, this is... Oh, are they good? Oh, uh, layers. I guess they probably would be, wouldn't they? Um, this is our... Our temple, our uh, tavern. We need to make the um, the beds as part of that. So let's go ahead and mark those, and we're going to set that as a meeting area location. The mired rooter diner dinner. So now, if we go shift L, or just just L, we can see in our tavern. We have the box and boxes. We boxes, boxes and bags. We have goblets. We have in, we have no instruments. Um, zero rooms so far. Why is it saying zero rooms? I should. Oh, you know what? Because I haven't made them as a bedroom. So Q, R. Same thing as making a regular bedroom. You don't need to actually. Um, we do actually. R. Enter. Now assign location on this. There we go. That's how we do it. L, enter. L, make sure we select our, uh, our our tavern. And so this is selected as a place. So our, our dwarves won't use it. Only folks coming to visit us will use these. So now it should say, my rooter dinner. We now have five, uh, six rooms. Zero rooms are rented. Six available. Okay, now nah, there we go. There we go. Apparently we have killed all the elk birds. Somebody's coming to visit us. A human bard, ratty human bard. So now, folks, we'll probably get more folks coming here to visit us since we have rooms to rent. Um, we don't have any instruments. I don't think we have any. Nope. No instruments. So, as soon as we get one, maybe when a trader comes by, maybe when some, some stupid elves come by, we can buy an instrument from them and, and, uh, and I don't know, put an instrument in there. All right, we have our bridge. Our bridge is complete. Now we want to make it a little more safer, so let's build a lever. So we're going to go B, and then uh, Shift T. Yes, traps and levers. Shift T. We want just a plain old lever, which is L. And we're going to place it. So this is the lever we're going to pull. So if something comes and attacks us, something is outside, and uh, we want to close up the gate. This is we're going to one of our dwarves is going to run over there, grab the lever, and pull it and shut the gate. So we're going to put it right there, in the side the fort. Dwarves are eating on the library instead of the tavern or the dining room. 
Um, is it set as the meeting hall? If you uh, go over one of your one of your tables where you set up as a uh, dining room, you can hit uh, H to make it the meeting hall. So folks will go there as their uh, place to hang out. That may be the problem. Oh, we do have Marius. Marius, we have a we have a hurt person. Excellent. So let's go find Marius here. Marius, expedition leader, is hurt. We can go view him. He, uh, and H for health. There's a couple different ways of doing this. We're going to do it this way. H for health. We can see he has fainted. He can't stand. Motor nerve damage and sensory nerve damage. His, uh, we can scroll across here and see what all is going on with him. Right, upper leg has torn open. So he got, uh, he has been sutured. His right upper leg has been sutured. So his, uh, he was out fighting the, um, the boar and he got stabbed. I think we saw that actually. He needs cleaning, which means we need soap. Basically is what it's trying to tell me. Diagnosis required means Bob needs to go say, hey, this is what's wrong with you. We also need to get a crutch for him, which I, we do have some crutches. I'm not sure why no one's doing it. And, uh, we can see what happened to him. We got pigtail sutures on right upper leg. So, uh, we're, we've, we've sort of checked him out a little bit. But not quite enough, apparently. I think mostly what the problem is, is we need soap. So let's build a soap maker shop, which is in the W's and then shift S. And we're going to put it uh, right... I never made my ashery, did I? We can put it right here as well. Uh, did I not... I put an ashery in, didn't I? Where did I put it? Did I put an ashery in? I thought I did. We're making ash. We don't have an ashery. We need blocks. All right, so we should have blocks now. Uh, w, Y. We need a bucket. We don't have a bucket. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Let's make a bucket. Bucket at our carpenter shop. We're going to go to E. Make some buckets. Make a few buckets. I think more buckets are being used by something else. Maybe the doctor. Get some soap. Wash your chickens. Oh, my lever is done. Let's pull this up. Look at all these kittens we have. About time to eat some cat. So we're going to go Q over the lever. And we're going to, just like any other building, we're going to assign a task to it. We're going to assign a task to link it up to a bridge. And it's going to automatically jump to our bridge, our one bridge that we have. We're going to just hit enter to uh, assign it on that one. And we can select, we're going to need mechanisms for it. So we're going to tack our mechanisms into it. And there we go. So we have the job of linking it up to that. So someone will go over to the lever and uh, and hook a mechanism up to it, and it'll work. We'll pull the lever, and we'll show it off here in a minute as soon as it gets done. Hang in there, Marius. Hang in there, buddy. Looks like our soap maker shop is done, but we don't have the stuff for it. Uh, ash is being made. You know what we should do? We should put our ash, like, it should all be right, right in here. So let's uh, make a stockpile. We'll do a custom one. We want bars and blocks of... Not this. Ash. Uh, we can put them all in here. Chalk. Chalk is the uh, cast making material. Chalk is. There's a few of them, but chalk is a good one. Okay. So this would be a coal and ash stockpile. We're instead of just like right there. Probably doesn't need to be that big, but that's okay. Who is this? Ebe is attending a meeting. Why are you in here? He's a human. Ebe, why are you in here? Attending a meeting with Marius, maybe? What's going on over here? There's Bob, who's uh, having a bit of a meal there in his uh, in his office. Uh, he's eating a plump helmet, so maybe my kitchen is not doing everything it's supposed to be doing. You're making easy meals. Let's make uh, something a little bit fancier. Let's make some fine meals. How about that? Everyone likes a fine meal. Let's make a stew. A stew, uh, let's make like 15 to 30 stews. Right now we're eating biscuits. We can, we're moving up in the world. We're a little bit fancier. <laughs> I 
think one of our... Oh, we got some miasma. This pink stuff is miasma. I don't think we've come across that yet. Where if things die... I know I've mentioned it, but if things die, they can... Start spewing nasty stuff. So because this elk bird corpse has gotten rotten. We have just too many jobs going out there. We have not enough dwarves, so things aren't getting butchered and just things aren't getting done. Um, so what we can do is we can hit, we can cursor over him and we can hit D for dump. And we'll dump him into our dumping stockpile, which I think I made. Um, our refuse stockpile. I don't know if I ever made one. Let's just like throw it outside here. Um, also, we can have trash this way. Actually, this is probably the way to do it. Um, let's do that. We're going to set up an eye zone, and we're going to go to garbage dump. This is where he will dump things. Refuse is something different. Like rat remains and things. So someone should grab the body, as soon as they're not doing things, and haul that elk bird out of here. And yeah, we're just... You know what? I can't believe we're just doing too much stuff. There's just not enough dwarves around here. We got Marius is over here getting hurt. He's thirsty. Yeah, we got charcoal and, and uh, ash now, though. And there's a snail in here. I'm gonna dump that out, bird. Dump it already. Now there's one getting hauled. What are you doing to it? Storing it in a stockpile. All right, all right. Alright, how many dwarves do we have? We have 14 only. Man, it's been like... Man, it's, it's, it's strange. Sometimes when you play, you get like a ton of uh, migrants. And sometimes you get like nothing. It has to do with your sieve. And how... Um, I guess how well your sieve is doing, I think, has a lot to do with it. Make a couple more bedrooms there. Does he no water? Oh, it's right. There is no water because everything's frozen. Um, so that's also a good reason for having this down here. Let's come down here and mark this. Let me see here. As a water source. Something like that. W water source. So what's going on here is we need water for our doctor. And um, the water outside that we typically would grab for him is all frozen because it's winter time. So we can use, if we mark a, a water source downstairs, someone will go downstairs to get water for him. <laughs> yeah, there's a refuge stockpile outside for all the uh, visitors to come, come view. <laughs> That's right. There's some wealth. That's what brings the migrants. Yeah, our wealth is kind of terrible. We haven't traded much away. 15 grand. Um, what can we do to make our wealth fancier? We just don't have enough. I could, like, do some engravings and things into the walls, which would really help us out, but there's just uh, not enough of us to do things. There we go. Someone got him some water, looks like. You can see there's a bucket. There was a bucket there. There was also some blood of his. Did I think I made a bucket yet? Soap. Let's put the soap in here. Like right here. There we go. Bucket. We're going to make it out of Gabbro. Now we're going to have some soap. All right. Uh, you can adjust the... Um, you can adjust the migration a bit. Uh, notice up here. We have petitions available. Shift P. So we have two folks. Eeb and Raddy. Since we have a um, tavern, they have decided they want to join Handle Tube. They like they would like to live here. We have Eeb wants to be a soldier. We will always take soldiers. Certainly, I will take you in here, buddy. So you just hit A to approve the guy. So now he is now we now have a resident of our fort that is a human. And Raddy as well wants to live here as he wants to entertain citizens and visitors. So we want some sort of he's like a bard. Uh, so he'll basically just hang around our tavern and do some songs or whatever. So yeah, come on in here, Raddy. So now we have two new people, and because soldiering is great, so we can go into our military, and, like, uh, we have Ebe here. So we'll, like, for instance, 
Uh, Relbo, you're no good at anything. So we can switch you out with Eeb. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? He was just there a second ago. Eeb. There we go. <laughs> with Eeb. So now Eeb is now in our military. He is a competent hammerman. Uh, and we can actually see that in Door Therapist here as well. There we go. Eeb and Raddy have joined us. Eeb is a level 3 hammerman. Uh, he also has some discipline and some uh, dodging. We can't uh, assign Ratty because he is not here for soldiering. He's here for uh, singing. Eve has a strength of four. Really, Eve? That's great. They can't do anything. You can see they're all red because of their labors. So they can't actually. They're not not actually um, citizens of. That's another thing that can pop up. You can also have a citizen join you in, and then you can control him and tell him to do jobs and things. There's a crocodile in my fort. Uh, that's a little concerning. So let's call on the wads, and uh, let's go kill that crocodile. Uh, we have a dead dwarf. <laughs> uh, where is he? Who is it? Preclues was standing there, and he thought uh, he'd go get that crocodile. What happened to him? So the manager attacks the cave crocodile, but he jumps away. Cave crocodile uh, latches on firmly. He hacks away. He had a, a copper battle axe lodged firmly in the wound. Cave Crocodile pushes the manager into the right lower leg. Okay. Uh, he's hacking away. Good job. Attacking the dog. Where is the... Uh... Here it is. Cave Crocodile bites the militia commander in the upper body, bruising the muscle and bruising the left lung. He's having trouble breathing. He latches on firmly. There's a dog in there helping me out as well. And that's not... That's not... Uh, an artery is opened. Where's the part where he died? Preclues. The cave crocodile shakes the manager around by the lower body. Okay, so the um, cave crocodile bit on him, bit his lower body, and started shaking him around. Uh, he shakes the manager around by the lower body, tearing apart the lower body's muscle and spilling his guts. Artery has been in the lower body, has been opened by the attack. He gives him the pain, he falls over, he bites the manager in the head, tearing the muscle through the sheep wool hood. Sorry, Preclues. You are dead. Hey, the trench dog. So now we have a dead guy. Oh, there's, there's another. Oh, that's what's going on. There's two of them. Oh, there's attack. He has a name now. Once uh, an animal or something kills you, it gets a name. And here he is with a name. Is that, is that the same one? Did he just jump over there? I just wasn't watching, I guess. So he came over. He killed Preclues. And, oh. He has also killed Relbo. <laughs> Good. About time we got some action in here. Where's Relbo? Uh, he's been found dead, yes. What did you do to him? I think he just shook him around a bunch. So, yeah, he just bites him, shakes him around. And then, uh, he got punched a bit. Oh, here it is. Bites the Tavern Keeper in the lower body, bruising the muscle and bruising the guts. Tavern Keeper looks sick. Well, yeah, we lost a couple folks, but that's that's okay. That's a reason why you could um, set up a military squad downstairs, which we will certainly do. Oh, we have lots of people visiting us now. We have a human maceman and a human bowman coming to visit us. Hopefully they will join us. So we got some dead folks laying around here, but that's okay. Now we can, we can talk about burying folks, or um, putting them to rest, I should say. Uh, it's time for a break, though, so let's do that first. So, uh, give me a couple minutes, and uh, we'll come back, we'll bury some folks, and we'll see if we can dig around here and find... Oh! We have a troll. We have a troll. Alright, we'll come back to uh, deal with the troll here in, uh, next time. So, uh, I'll be right back.